Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to tram the head to the table. Later on, we're gonna show you how to tram the vise to the head or to the table, uh, but right now we're just tramming the head. So, and we're gonna do this in two parts. The first part, we're gonna talk about the side to side angle, okay? Um, first thing I wanna point out, there's four bolt heads here on the front. I've already loosened up three of them, but these are what locks down that head to the column. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen the last one. I'm gonna show you how to move it. So notice it's already loose as soon as we've moved it. And we're gonna come over here, and there's this another bolt head up here, and we're gonna go ahead and we can spin that around, and it's got a lot of adjustment in it, okay? So uh, let's move it back over here. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna zoom in and we're gonna look at the table and uh, I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna explain how to tram the head now. We're pretty much, we're gonna start with the dial indicator on this side and then we're gonna rotate it around to this side. The difference that you'll see, because we're gonna start here at zero over to here, is the difference the head is from side to side. So we're gonna go ahead and I've zeroed it out over here. We're gonna go ahead and rotate it all the way around, 180 degrees. We're gonna move that gauge block. We're gonna use the same gauge block. That way we get make sure the measurements are the same. Right now, I have about 20 thousandths difference. So I'm zero over here, moving over to here is 20 thousandths difference. So that means I need to move the head back this over this direction by 10 thousandths to split that difference. So let's go ahead and we're gonna zoom out and we're just gonna show me doing the whole process of this. Okay, so we're just gonna go through the process real quick on how to do this. Um, I'm just gonna move this thing around. Remember I was telling you how um, touchy that bolt is. We're just gonna kind of lightly knock it around this side. We're just gonna go ahead and set it to zero. Again, constantly move it back and forth. Looks like we're about 3,000 now. back and forth, re-zeroing it each time. Uh, small increments of change here. We're, we're only about two thou out now. One thou now, actually. All right. So after it's perfectly zeroed, all we're going to do is we're going to retighten up our bolts, and I would suggest doing a cross pattern, going from corner to corner. We'll lightly uh, cinch them down, and then we'll go ahead and fully tighten them up. After. All right, now you can always run back through and recheck it. Double check that it stayed on zero after tightening the bolts. It looks like we have. So the next, next section of this video, we're gonna go over how to adjust it from front to back. It's pretty much the same thing. We're just gonna move the blocks in front and back, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go over how to adjust or tram the head so as in the front or forward and back motion, okay? Um, I've already got the um, dial indicator set up here and it's pretty much the same thing as going side to side but now we're going front to back, okay? The three bolts right here are what actually lock it down and this is the uh, worm gear that, or screw that uh, turns that head forward and back. So if I, I already zeroed it out on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and move it over. And it looks like we're about two thousandths out right now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn this. Let's see if we can get it to go back in really quick. Let's go the other way. And it's now about, uh, about half a thou out, because I split the difference. Let's go ahead and check that again. Yep, 
Yep, and we're there. So we're going to go ahead and just double check it one last time. All right, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and tighten up these bolts. Now, one thing I do want to point out, there is a number scale along the side here. This is just for reference. Don't ever use this to actually tram the head unless maybe you're making an angle cut or something like that because you, you won't even be able to see the difference in the tick marks that we're, we're trying to show you here. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about how to tram the head.